this brown line model has the half inch drive, the clockwise, counterclockwise, three LED lights here, which will light up green, yellow, and red, the LCD screen, the power, memory, up and down toggle switch, the audible alarm allows you to know that you've reached your torque value, and the battery case here. which is three AA batteries. It does not come with a torque wrench. You have to apply supply these yourself. Now I'm gonna use this caliper as my, uh, my test dummy here. I'm gonna torque it down to 20 pounds. It's already torqued out. I'm just gonna use it as a test. Do about 20 pounds. <clears throat> Since I currently don't have a, a half inch socket, I just went to the you know, local Harbor Freight, got a half inch socket to 3H drive uh, adapter, put it onto my here, the socket, and just throw it on. All right, I have my setting set at 20 foot pounds of torque. Everything's all zeroed out here. I'm going to begin torquing down. There's a green light. There's a yellow and there's a red to tell me how much I've torqued it out. On the screen you saw 21.0 I think it is, yeah. After about 5 seconds it will show you what you've torqued it down to. That way you can learn from your mistakes from the next time you torque it out. To reset this you hit the memory button. Actually before you reset, if you hit the toggle down, it will show you what you did in inch pounds which is 252 and newton meters, 28.5. I'll put it back to foot pounds and to reset this, you hit the memory, it zeroed out again. Another key feature to this brown line digital torque wrench is that it also does peak hold. As you see here, this is the highest torque, foot pound torque that I went before I got to the 20 pounds here. So it shows you what I did since I did not reach the 20 foot pounds of torque here. Pretty good feature. All right, guys. I moved from the uh, caliper inside to the lug nut outside. Just going to show you another quick demonstration. I'm going to just go ahead and set this to 50 pounds, 50 foot pounds of torque, just to show you. Once again, you hit the memory button. When it flashes, you toggle up. If you hold the button down for about a second, it will speed up the process of uh, getting to your value that you want to go to. I'll set to 50, I'm going to hit memory again, and then it's where you begin the torquing. Once again, after about a second, it will show up your torque value that you put it at. 51.0 is close enough for me. And that's it. Back to Infinite Drift's final thoughts. No, but seriously guys, I believe this is the simplest torque wrench you can possibly use ever. On comfort, I give it a 10 because it feels good in the hands. Easy use, I give it a 10. It can't get any simpler than this. Durability, we'll find out in a couple years, but I, I believe it'll hold up because it's built pretty solid. Let me tell you this guys, after using this torque wrench for your project, you may notice a solitary tear falling down your cheek. That indicates you, my friend, are a car guy. Good night.